Breast cancer does not discriminate. Any woman of any race can get it. But what many might not know is that minorities such as African Americans, Latinos, and Asians tend to develop breast cancer earlier and often have more aggressive tumors than white women. And too often, minorities aren't diagnosed until after the disease has spread. More on breast cancer and minorities from Mayo Clinic. Two, three, four, and five. No, I don't want to buy that. Aretha Rogers may be losing this game of Monopoly, but she's winning her battle against breast cancer. I kept my faith, my family, you know, kept praying, and, and I kept looking at the goal. There was a goal, you know, that was going to beat this, and we did. Aretha endured a lumpectomy, chemotherapy, and radiation. Her goal now is to educate other minority women about breast cancer. She started by reaching out to friends and family. It was at the family reunion. Uh, <laughs> some of the, um, the cousins and my sister, we all went in the restroom, and I said, I really need you all, you know, to get educated on this, and I want you all to feel what a, um, a lump in the breast would feel like. You see, African-American women tend to get breast cancer less frequently than white women. But when they do get the disease, they're often younger and the tumors tend to be more aggressive. Dr. Amber Isley says another issue is that minority women often don't seek medical care as soon as they should. So they will go at a later stage and next thing you know, it's more advanced and then their opportunities for treatment are limited. As Aretha knows, breast cancer is curable if you catch it early. I was grateful that I took action when I found the lump. One, two, Aretha continues to encourage other minority women to take action too. You no, know, it's okay to check your breasts, okay to go to the doctor, okay to talk about it. She and Dr. Isley want all women to learn about breast cancer so they too can be survivors. For more information on breast cancer, log on to mayoclinic.org. For Medical Edge, I'm Vivian Williams.